What up guys, it's Connor out of work. Today is the first tournament we'll take you guys on. Uh, we're at Homney Lake. It's in stop number two. We didn't go to stop number one, it's too far. And uh, the plan for today is just catch them, okay? Just catch them on whatever bait they'll bite on. The conditions are cold, post frontal. Uh, water temps probably drop 10%, 10 degrees. Never been this lake before, and we're just gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. Looked at Google Maps a little bit, got some areas that I think might put out, but you know, you never know to get there. Once again, we're fishing uh, bass from kayak bass tournament. We got the rigs, got the rigs rigged up. Day is ready to go, so let's go. Oh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel. Please be sure to subscribe. Uh, this is the type of stuff we do. Stripers, white bass, uh, tournament fishing, and everything else. So, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so here we go. Uh, my brother took off on the ramp, went to the left, then I usually go to the other side, go to the right. Going down this big creek arm, there's a lot of docks on the right. I'm looking left, I'm looking right. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going until I see something I like. So, uh, with a lot of Google map studying, I know there's just one pocket. If I get there, there's nobody there, I want to start there first. So, here I am. I'm headed straight down there. Uh, there's a lot of anglers. I mean, there's, I'm passing everybody on the left and the right. Yeah. And, uh, turns out there's nobody in my spot. So, here we go. Alright, pulling it to my spot. Okay, so pretty much my train of thought on this tournament was it was supposed to be a spawning tournament, but major cold front hit, and that usually means if they're not on beds, they're not on beds. So you have a one-two punch here. We're gonna either go for the pre-spawn suspended bass, or we're gonna go for the ones that are on bed. So approaching this little area, I'm sitting about nine foot of water. And I'm taking jerk bait. I'm hoping. These are the bass that are pulled off of beds that are totally committed. And I'm trying to catch them on jerk bait before I get to the pocket. So I work a uh, I work this bro make stick, uh, custom weighted of course, so it sinks. Um, and I'm just working it pretty quick. You know, I'm thinking if they're out here they should be aggressive. So uh, I'm working the, the stick bait or jerk bait, and no bueno. Alright, so in tournaments, you gotta quickly break things down. They're not deep, they're not suspended right now. I see grass, I see a hole in the grass. To me, that says you need to throw a Zinko in there. So, let's throw the Zinko in there. Well, actually, this is a Bass Pro stick holder, but same thing, stick bait. Not your ordinary setup. It's super beefed up just for situations like this. This ain't 6 or 8 pound, buddy. This is 20 pound line, 30 pound braid. First cast, boom, fights. Bass, spawning bass, bro. Oh, bitch! Fucking bitch came off. Ouch. Shit. That hurt bad. That hurt real bad. That was a nice one, man. It must have been, uh, I'm thinking 17, 18 inch right there, but I never, I never got that fish to, to bite again for the rest of the day. I came back, checked the bed four times, wasn't there.
Single fish, all right. Single fish, male, female, male, female. I don't know. Care, care. This one fun. Little 13 incher. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let go. Let go. Because that is 13. Here we go. Three. Number three. Bind good. They bind good today. Channel boots and sinkos. Here we go. Fourteen seven five guys. Fourteen seven five. Okay, with that third fish in the belt, let's see where we rank. All right, so we upload the third fish. And we check the rankings, and so far I'm in second, so I'm doing pretty good. And I'm doing really good. The reason why I say that is today is a hard day. My predictions coming in was yeah. going to be, if you catch five, you're probably going to be in the money. So that's what we're in for. We're in five. I'm going to say it's only 30. Let's do this. All right, remember. When they say bass fishing is a very humbling sport, yeah. you get out there and you catch these guys. That's not good, man. That's not good. When you struggle for the last two hours trying to catch some fish. I'm uh, aiming real low. Bill, sir. I know it's a hard turn. I'm just trying to catch two 10 inch bass. And I can't get nothing going for the next three That's hours. Nice. Okay. And I'm just like, dang, what? You can't even buy a bite out here. So I do I do a lot of jumping around. I fish docks. I fish all types of lures. I can't get bit. Until I roll into this one creek, which I noticed there was a lot of people fishing before. I didn't go in there until everybody left. And this is what I did. This is what I noticed. So down this creek, right? This creek I didn't fish. Uh, finally come down it. I started noticing that there's a lot of beds. There's a lot of empty beds. There's about, I would estimate, 10 beds or areas that look like beds in this area. But I figured most of you guys have already caught them. So I'm just going to focus on the outside grass line and the lanes that run to the beds. So that's what I'm doing. There's so much moss here, it's crazy. Chucking wine and chatterbait, trying to get a reaction bite. 
and uh, Chatterbait gets bumped twice. I don't get a bite. Um, and on my second pass, I come around with something that I do a lot during the spawn. I usually don't do it during any other time of year, but it's a cool trick I learned last year during the spawn. Okay, all. Okay, so during the spawn, this is what I love to do. You know, I'm not a light guy and guy when it comes to a lot of cover. So I like the drop shot concept, but I don't like the light lines. What I do is. I rig it on 20 pound line, half ounce weight, creature bait, about a foot up. And I'm just pitching into areas that are on the edges. Or areas that I can see that's got a little bit of light or a little bit of dark. And right there, it looks like a bed, but I'm not sure. I throw up in there. So 15. <laughs> Putting over the lanes for you guys, huh? You know? Ain't nobody wanna see a dirty lens. Anyways. It's a 15. A 15. Just from memory, I counted at least seven beds that I know were fish beds. There's probably another ten spots that were iffy if they were beds or or not, but there's a lot of activity in this creek. See, that's the thing. If I practice, I'd start in here. I'd probably just spend my whole day in here. But since you didn't practice, you know, you had to go waste an hour and a half up the river and then come back and find this creek. Well, actually not fine, but oh. just finally venture into the creek in the last hour. So that's not cool, yeah. man. I mean, that's part of fishing, you know, I'm trying to make the adjustments and everything. But <sighs> without practice, uh, you just can't help it. I mean, you do the best you can and uh, try to fish as flawless as you can. Yeah. We were pretty it good today, cool, thought, yeah. with the exception of that one fish in the beginning that pretty much cost us a third pl or second yep. place finish. Yep. I threw a jig for a while, nothing. I was like, man, that's hard as fishing. That's a hard fishing life. Water temp is 56. Air temp is like whew, 45. Ooh. Man, it's crazy because I was fishing, right? I went all the way to the back, all the way back up. I was like, damn, did the air temperature just drop? It felt like it just dropped. And then I was talking to Gary, and then Gary was like, yeah, I haven't caught anything ever since. Like, Because he said he caught everything by like 7.30. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then I was like, you know, I caught those three. I was just thinking like, dude, I'm just gonna kill them all on Chatterby because I caught one on Chatterby, like in the middle of nowhere too. So I was like, if I'm just like, you know, picking where I need to go, I think I'd do a lot better. But nope, it's not the case. I didn't catch anything else on Chatterby. I think I- All right, that is about run out. Uh, I got 10th place and 18th. 18th place. 
two fish. Two fish. Four fish out of 66. Uh, lost one early. If I didn't lose it, I think I would have been in the money. Easily. Um. Oh, guys. That was probably the coldest. Not the coldest. In the top five, though, tournaments I've ever fished. I mean, we got out there, the wind was blowing, and then somehow the temperature dropped another 10 degrees. And for a while there, I thought, I must be going crazy because we launched at 6 o'clock. And it wasn't even that cold compared to when it was about 11 o'clock. So anyhow, it was horrible um, performance. Uh, but performance was okay. Uh, hybrid caught a couple. Uh, I caught four. Didn't get a limit, so ended up in 10th place. I think about half the field skunked out. Uh, if you caught a limit, you were in the top five. That's how that's how hard the day was. Uh, I caught everything on, let's see, uh, I got four fish, two on Cinco's, one on a jackhammer chatterbait, and the last one was on a missile baits baby D bomb. Uh, power shotting, okay, so. Uh, power shotting the outside grass line. This thing, this lake had a lot of moss in it. And that was something that I've never encountered before. So that was the only adjustment I could do. I tried just flipping a straight Texas rig. And that, you'd be picking moss every time. So, decided to go to the uh, power shot. Where the lure basically stays above the moss. But the sinker's on, in the moss. So, it actually worked out pretty good. The uh, hybrid ended up catching uh, a 20 inch and a 10 inch I believe. Uh, I walked away with a 16, some, 16 3 quarters, a 15, um, a 13, 7, 5, or 14, 7, 5, and a, and a 13. So, it wasn't all, it wasn't a bad day. I mean, I can't complain too much. Uh, it was a lake, uh, no practice. Just going in blind and no idea what I was doing, really. Uh, I looked at some Google Map stuff and just went, so that's what happened today. Straight up winged it. Uh, we were planning to go to this other lake, but due to the conditions, uh, cold muddy waters, uh, post frontal, we ended up going to this one instead. And I don't know, I, was, I felt like I was that close being in the money. So uh, had I caught another 12 or 13 incher, I think I would have been in e money. Uh, so, anyways, that's tournament life, guys. Uh, hopefully, this uh, 10th place uh, doesn't get added on to the uh, angler of the year you know so we'll see see how that goes it's only it's the second event and we are actually going to be fishing for big bass too so maybe tomorrow we'll go out and try to uh, try to go out for some janks some seven pound pluses and uh, maybe I'll break my uh, personal record too my personal bass record is right around 10 pounds uh, not officially I think it's a 10 10 auto but not officially so uh, let's try to break that and we're also going to you know, do other fishing too. So I hear the dams are hot right now. So we're definitely going to do that. So if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe because this is the channel, once again, that does everything. We do bass. We do stripers, hybrids, white bass. We did mushroom hunting this year. We're going to do some frog gigging stuff later. We're going to cook all types of exotic food if this coronavirus thing just goes away. So anyways, uh, like I said, sub and give me a like. All right, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.